In this Warframe guide, I'm going to show you how to level up fast for beginners as well as for more seasoned players, so that after this video, you're going to be able to get your equipment and Warframes up to their max level in just about 5 minutes. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First, let's take a look at how your equipment actually receives its experience, or as Warframe calls it, its affinity. While affinity is gained by almost everything you do in the entire game, the only real way to farm it consistently is by eliminating enemies. And that works as follows. Whenever you clap an enemy with one of your Warframe's abilities, your frame will receive all the experience that enemy gave you. If instead you use a weapon, then half of the affinity goes to said weapon and the other half to the Warframe. However, you don't only gain XP from what you're doing, in Warframe you also receive passive XP from your teammates. Whenever you're within a 50 meter radius from a teammate, all the affinity they gain will also be added on top of your loadout. And this passive experience is distributed like this. 25% of it will always go to your Warframe, and the remaining 75% are then equally distributed between all the weapons that you carry. Meaning if you bring a primary, secondary and a melee into the mission, each of them will get a 25% share. If you only bring two, both of them will get 37.5% and if you just run one weapon, that weapon will then gain a fat 75% of all your passive affinity. Yes, as stupid as it may sound, not using your gun will increase its level faster than actively slaying enemies with it. But there's one very important thing to note here. I'm constantly seeing people getting it wrong, so let's bust that myth once and for all. Even if one of your equipment pieces has reached max level, it will still gain its affinity share. Just that this XP then will be completely wasted, of course. So no, if you bring three weapons into the mission and two of them are already level 30, that does not mean that the third weapon will gain the 75% because the others are already maxed out. No, all of them will still get only 25%, but for the maxed out weapons, of course, the 25% will then be wasted and the one weapon you want to level will only get 25%. Meaning if you want to level one item in specific, then only bring that one item and no other one. And while all your equipment is gaining affinity, how about you help me out gaining a like so the video can spread to more people. Thanks for that. So now that we know how the game calculates your XP, let's take a look at how to get a lot of it fast. First off, you can drastically increase your standard affinity gain, giving you tons more XP from every enemy. One method to do so would be owning a Smita Kavat and equipping it with the mod Charm. With Charm, your Smita will constantly bless you with random buffs during your mission, one of which is double affinity for 2 minutes. Of course, since the buffs are all random, you won't always get this boost in specific, but still, having a Smita with you while leveling is going to be better than nothing at all. The next thing you definitely want to do before starting your daily XP grind is visiting a busy relay and either waiting or kindly asking for an affinity blessing. As I also said in my Mastery Rank guide, Mastery Rank 30 plus players can give a 20% affinity boost for 3 hours to other players on the same relay. A nice and welcome little boost. And in case for whatever reason you're watching this video and you are MR30+, plus, just go and give it to yourself. Then there are also sporadic double affinity weekends, so check the official Warframe announcements for that. And lastly, of course, if you're willing to spend a little bit of platinum, you can simply buy an affinity booster from the market. Just note that this is not a requirement for any of today's methods and that you can also level up your equipment fast without it. Paid boosters are simply an optional little extra speed up and not needed. In case you decide to get one, I recommend you prepare a whole lot of equipment that needs levels first and then you go with just a 3 day one for 30 plat, do a hardcore leveling weekend maybe with your friends together and that's it. Longer affinity boosters are really only used in very specific cases. And the best thing is, all these methods I just mentioned stack with each other, meaning just in the hypothetical case you had a purchase booster on a double affinity weekend with the blessing from a relay and your Smita buff up all at the same time, you'd theoretically gain 10 times the normal affinity. 
which is of course complete overkill. Usually one of these is already more than enough to help. Just like subbing to the channel helps you stay up to date on everything regarding Warframe. Welcome to the crew. And with all these buffs on, let's finally get into where and how to do the practical leveling. The first location is an all-time favorite of mine and especially great for newer players, and that would be the mission Holin on Saturn. It's a Grenier defense where you face a lot of Grenier Lancers which give you 250 affinity each, making them one of the best enemies to farm XP from. Just make sure that you always run this mission in a full squad of 4 players because more players means more enemies are spawning leading to more affinity and just remember there's also the passive affinity gain that we talked about earlier, so teammates absolutely are a must here. However, there's an ongoing debate among Warframe players whether to level on Helene Saturn or Hydron on Sedna. Let me tell you. Yes, Hydron gives you a little bit more XP due to the higher enemy level, but, that's a big but, given the nature of defense missions it doesn't matter if you max out your equipment at wave 7 or wave 9, you'll still have to wait until wave 10 before you can extract so it just doesn't make a practical difference. Also, on Saturn, you'll have Plastids and Orokin cells as resource drops, which is great, whereas Sedna, in contrast, only drops garbage. But if you don't like defense missions, or you have a friend to help you out, another great place to go would be the Sanctuary Onslaught. To access it, simply complete the quest The New Strange, and then you can just start it up here in the corner on your star chart. Sanctuary Onslaught is amazing for leveling and one of my absolute favorites. The sheer amount of enemies you'll encounter here will just shower you in affinity. What you want to do is team up with a friend or a clanmate who plays a nuke frame like Volt, Saren or Equinox and constantly obliterates the entire room while you just stand next to them doing exactly nothing. The passive XP you'll gain this way are gonna be insane and even if you go with 3 different weapons, they'll be maxed out in no time. In case you don't have someone to help you, you can of course always go with 4 random players in a squad, however I personally prefer Helene in this case, since your affinity gain in Sanctuary Onslaught strongly depends on your team, the random tile set and the enemy faction you're up against. And from my personal experience, with random, Helene is equally fast and more consistent. No, Sanctuary Onslaught is best played with a friend or solo, which I'm gonna explain now. As you probably already noticed, leveling weapons is pretty fast and easy, just make sure to get tons of passive XP and that's it. However, with Warframes, leveling takes time, especially when putting Forma on them. Firstly, this is because Warframes, by design, need twice the affinity to be maxed out compared to weapons and secondly, because they only ever get 25% of your passive affinity. So in order to most efficiently level your Warframe, you have to use their abilities to slay enemies like I said in the beginning of the video, because only then all the affinity is granted to the Warframe itself. And while damage dealing frames like Mesa or Saren surely won't have any problems with that, uh, good luck trying to get anything done with supporters like Trinity who don't have any meaningful damage output. What you want to do in this case is currently the best and fastest way to max out your Warframes, getting you up to level 30 in just about 5 minutes. However, this method is a bit more advanced so if you can't pull it off yourself just yet, stick to the other tactics for now, they're also absolutely fine. In order to pull this off, you'll have to have the Helminth system unlocked already and Gauss subsumed into it. For the leveling process, you'll infuse Gauss ability Thermal Sunder onto the Warframe you're trying to level and then build it into a lot of range, strength and decent efficiency as good as you can. Mold Augmented would be a great arcane here, also arcane grace for your energy if you have it and Archon Vitality would be a neat pick to deal even more heat procs. Again, options, no musts. What you do with this now is actually pretty easy, head to Sanctuary Onslaught solo and just spam your Thermal Sunder all over the place. It's not the perfect room clearing ability, sure, but it's the best the Helmet system has to offer in terms of damage output and it'll help those frames who can't deal with enemies by themselves. 
If you run this method and you get a bit lucky with your tile set in the enemy faction, preferably Grenier, then you'll have your Warframe of choice maxed out at around 5 minutes plus minus a bit. If you want to hear more about this specific method, Grind Hard Squad has made a great guide on this recently over on his channel, so go and check that one out as well if you like. But Gauss and Thermal Sunder are not the only helmet shenanigans you can take advantage of for speed leveling. A very popular tactic at the moment is to infuse Banshee Silence at around 130% ability range and then carpet bomb Grenier with the Kuva Brahma in an exterminate mission either on Saturn or on Sedna, whichever tiles that you prefer. However, with the announced return of self-damage in the near future, I'm not so sure if Kuva Brahma carpet bombing is gonna be viable for much longer. Another method that I've personally been using with um, at least decent success is infusing Equinox skill Rest and Rage with the Common Frenzy Augment. What this does is it puts enemies to sleep and whenever you eliminate a sleeping enemy, nearby foes will also fall asleep. The way this works is if you run an exterminate mission and you put everyone to sleep, then you stay undetected. Getting kills while being undetected gives you a stealth affinity multiplier that can go up to 500%, meaning you gain 5 times the experience per enemy. You just gotta make sure that everyone is put to sleep, you stay unseen and one hit every enemy without waking them up. Sure, you're not using the Warframe ability itself to smash the enemies, resulting in just quote unquote 50% gain for your frame, but the 500% multiplier more than makes up for this. In this build, I go for maximum range and decent energy efficiency so I can spam my skill as much as I want. My melee weapon is modded for pure corrosive damage against Grenier to make sure everything dies in just one hit. This method is way safer than the Kuva Brahma version and it takes around 8 to 10 minutes to finish the mission. If you get the hang of it after some tries and maybe get a bit lucky with the Smita buff as well, you'll have your frame maxed out in no time. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you know any other great leveling spots that I haven't mentioned yet, make sure to let us know in the comments down below so we can all benefit from your expertise. Thanks for that! But with the leveling taken care of right now, you might also want to know how to quickly increase your mastery rank using today's tactics. So absolutely don't miss out on this video right here, we see each other next time, and until then, as always, good loot!